this video we're going to talk about the clinical trial results of farisimab in the treatment of wet age-related macular degeneration the phase two trial was the stairways the phase two trials investigate the safety and efficacy of a drug in a small scale it was a study in about 75 patients in this clinical trial, farisimab was compared to ranibizumab. Ranizumab was used every month. On the other hand, farisimab was used every four months. And then patients were randomized to either farisimab every 12 weeks versus every 16 weeks. The results showed no major concern of farisimab to wet MD and the improvement of visual acuity was similar in the ranibizumab or farisimab groups. After those two studies, there were two clinical trials, phase three, to investigate if farisimab was non inferior to a flibercept in the treatment of wet MD. Patients were randomized in three groups. First group, a flibercept every month and then every three weeks, every eight weeks after the loading dose. Farisimab patients were treated every month for four weeks and then they were re-randomized re based on activity on week 20 or week 24. The results are very interesting because farisimab was not inferior to a flibercept. In addition, almost 80% of the patients could be, could be treated every 12 or every 16 weeks. 45% of the patients could be treated with farisimab every 16 weeks after the loading dose. There were no major safety issues or toxicity with farisimab. So in summary, phase two trial, steroids. Two phase three trials, Lucerne and Tenaya, which showed non-inferior action of farisimab for MD compared to a flibercept.